Hey guys, welcome back. For this video tutorial, I'm going to start working on a sensor that is a compass which is HMC5883. Now, to gain more knowledge, to have a better perspective regarding the sensor, let's go to controleverything.com and here search for this particular sensor that is HMC5883. As you can see, it's a 3 axis digital compass and these are some of its more precise features. Now you can also purchase the sensor from here, from this website. Furthermore, I will be interfacing the digital compass HMC5883 with a BeagleBone Black using a C code and to get the C code let's go to resource tab and here comes the C code sample. You can download the C code sample as a file from this point, just right here. Also you can have the privilege to download the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. So, now we need to set up some hardware connections and let's see. Now in the hardware connection setup, the first thing we require is a BeagleBone Black which you are able to see on my screen. Now this here is an I2C sheet. It's available on the website controleverything.com and it's very useful in making connections easier with other I2C devices. So gently place this I2C shield over the BeagleBone Black and make a connection. Just like that. Now we need our sensor that's the digital compass HMC5883 and this here is a connecting cable. Make the connection among the sensor and the cable and make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and for the same reason to the I2C sheet. Next we need to power up our BeagleBone Black and there are two things we require. First of all this here, a mini USB cable we require, gently put it over this jack, this power jack. Next we require an adapter for 5 volt as you can see and gently put it over this power jack. Next the last thing we require is to make an internet connection and there are two ways for that. First of all the thing is an ethernet cable or a LAN cable which you are able to see and gently insert it over here on the ethernet jack. The next thing we can also use is a wireless nano USB adapter that might come in handy sometimes. So we are done with all the connections we need for this setup. Now what do we require is a C code so that we can interface the sensor and the beagle bone black. In the interfacing part, the first thing is to find the C code and for that we have to log into github.com and here we have to search for the repository that is control everything community. After that we have to look for the sensor that is HMC5883 and here is the sensor and this is the C code. But let's have a look over the instructions we need to fulfill. In the C code instruction, first of all we have to set up the BeagleBone Black and the relevant information instructions are provided on the link that is BeagleBoat.org. Please note it down. Also after that we have to download or get pull the code in the BeagleBone Black and this command is to compile the C code and this to run the C code. Note it down carefully which might come in use after the code explanation. So this is the code as you can see it's a .c file. Now in the code you might notice that we have included some of the header files here. Now in the void mate function we have to create an I2C bus and check whether the I2C bus is available or not and then we have to check for the I2C device whether it is connected or not on the address that is 0x1e. Then we have to in the writing section we have to select the configuration register having address 0x00 and we are sending a command for normal measurement configuration data rate output 0.75 hertz it's 0x60 the writing command is here as you can see then we have to select the mode control register uh, it's a mode register 0x02 and we are sending the command for continuous measurement mode that is 0x00 the writing command is here then a delay of one second then we want to retry the data back from the sensor that's the reading section where we are reading the data as you can see uh, we are reading 6 bytes of the data from the register 0x03 is the x, y and z axis the perpendicular axis for the magnetic field. Now here we have to check whether the data is correct there is no error or not and then the conversion of the data takes place here which is according to the guidelines the details provided for the data sheet of HMC5883. At the very end of our code after so many calculations and observations we need to print out uh, the details, the output data on the screen which you can see is the magnetic field in x, y, z axis 
it's the raw value of the magnetic field which might be positive or negative depending upon the magnetic field at that time so this is a very simple and generalized code as you can see for the C uh, and beagle bone and let's see how it interfaces it, it with and let's see it now coming to the working environment part uh, the first step is to copy this entire code as you can see on my screen and after copying this code uh, the next step is to go to the terminal for the beagle bone and here we have to create a new file as you can see on my screen and it's a .c file for the extension and here we go and here we have to paste the entire code and after that we have to save it and let's see what we got here and this is the command as you can see on my screen this is uh, to compile which you have already seen in the instructions part and let's see uh, you can see and uh, notice the code has been compiled successfully and now to build the code and run it you can have this command and as you can notice we have the magnetic field in three perpendicular axes which are x y and z and also you can notice the values are almost constant because there is no change regarding the magnetic field present at this particular time but instead when I bring a bar magnet and run the command you can notice there is a change regarding the magnetic field values for the three perpendicular axis and as I move the bar magnet in different directions you can sense uh, and also see and notice the changes in the magnetic field onto the screen now this is how the magnetic sensor HMC5883 responds now what do we require is to have a look over the benefits and the applications of this sensor the HMC5883 is a surface mount multi-chip module designed for low field magnetic sensing with a digital interface for applications such as low cost compassing and magnetometry. The HMC5883 includes our state of the art high resolution HMC 118X series magneto resistive sensors plus an ASIC containing amplification automatic degaussing, strap drivers, offset, cancellation and a 12-bit ADC that enables 1 degree to 2 degree compass heading accuracy. Applications for HMC5883 include mobile phones, notebooks, consumer electronics, auto navigation systems and personal navigation devices. The sensor, the digital compass HMC5883 is available and can be purchased from the website that is controleverything.com and you can have the code from the resource tab and after that you can have the code as a zip file from that. You can also have the code from github repository and it's called control everything community. Now I would just like to make it clear that in case any part if you have any queries you can reach us on control everything.com and put your comments on the community page of this website. For blogs and articles you can have a look over on instructables.com for us and if you want to subscribe more video tutorials like this, go to our YouTube channel. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good one yourself. Thanks a lot for watching.